What's up guys? I'm gonna take you real quick into Walmart and show you how easy it is to make money. I made a real quick 86 bucks in 20 minutes there. So if, if you put that for an hour, that's like $250 an hour. Think about that, $250 an hour to shop at Walmart. It's crazy. All right, so buckle up, grab a snack, and watch this. <laughs> Here we go. See you there. All right, guys, so we're in our favorite place. We're in Walmart. We love it here. And I'm just gonna take you through the process of my retail arbitrage and how I do things and how easy it is. I'm in here and we made 86 bucks in like 20 minutes. Easy. $250 an hour, no problem. See, first I, I spotted these uh, cell phone cases, so I'm gonna open up my app. Now I run with uh, the app uh, Scoutify. It comes with Inventory Lab for free. And I suggest anyone who does, does Amazon, they use Inventory Lab and Scoutify. You get to like put in your return on investment you want. It gives you like auto buys. It tells you when to buy something, when not, uh, sales rank. It's, it's literally the best. So I scan this comes up like a really low uh, price ROI and everything like that so I was gonna buy it just to test it out and see if I'm restricted and not restricted um, it, the app is so good it tells you everything way better than the Amazon seller app so I also check Walmart app and I scan uh, the barcode because Sometimes the clearance stickers aren't right. They're even less. So I've, I've bought these exact cell phone cases in the past for a dollar a piece. But as you can see, they still are $4.88. So I put that in the cart, but I take it out later because I realized it wasn't the right case. So that one we aren't counting. Now this one is, I'm just gonna scan it and it doesn't come up a good price. So I put it back. Okay, now this one. This one's a glitter case, um, with like hangers and stuff like that. And um, it comes up, it, there's no FBA offer, which means there is no one selling it. So I'm going to ask for $19.99 for that, $4.88. So I will profit $10.01, all said and done. Quick, easy, boom. This is really cheap, no one, it's uh, not going for nothing pretty much. This is, uh, again, going for nothing. Same thing with this one. It's pretty uh, cheap. Not found. The camo cases. All, anything camo is like ridiculous right now for some reason. So these iPhone X cases, I'm getting them for $4.88. And I'm putting them up for $13.99 a piece. I think I picked up two of them. So... All said and done, I will profit $9.10. Real quick, easy. Leopard too, leopard print. You know, ladies love leopard, so get the leopard print. Leopard print, uh, I got two of those, $4.88. I'm gonna ask $17 a piece, so I'm gonna get all said and done, $14.66. Quick, quick money. Just sit on the shelf, guys. You gotta go grab it. I thought this would be money, but apparently it's not. Um, yeah, it's only going for like five bucks or something like that. So really, really cheap. Again, this is another camo case, but this is for the um, the iPhone 8. It's good to pick up older phones because they stopped making the cases and people still do have the phone. So $4.88. I'm going to ask for nineteen ninety nine. So I'm going to make $10.07. Now you see how, how easy this is, guys? It's so easy. Anyone can do this. You go in there, you start scanning stuff. You know, sometimes you gotta take a risk. You don't know if it's gonna sell. That's when the sales rank comes into play. But I really don't, I don't look at the sales rank a lot. I really don't. Because if you go in at a good enough, I've, I've bought things that have had like a, a million sales rank. And People above me are selling it for like crazy prices. They're not gonna get it. And I go in at a reasonable price and Amazon will reward the reasonable price. 
they will push it. You'll get that little Amazon Choice badge and they'll, they'll push it to the front of the line. Now I thought these would be, uh, these would be money, these uh, like lace cell phone cases, but they're all really, really cheap. So you just put them right back. And guys, remember, put them back where you got them because you don't want to leave places a mess. I've seen people doing this. They leave things a mess. They leave shit everywhere. So, oh, I, I sort of put that back not where it belongs. I didn't follow my own rules. Right to jail. Bad boy. So you gotta learn the layout of your Walmart. Every Walmart is different in your area probably, so we, I know where all the clearance items are. Now you could spend all day looking at that stuff, looking at these games, but I know what has been here, what hasn't been here, so I just look. I know that that South Park game has not been there, so I check it out and it is not profitable. If it was, it would have been great. There was a bunch of them. But if you like South Park, go get it. 11 bucks each. Now we move over here. Over here is, um, they have some other games too, which I haven't seen before. So with Fallout 4, this is money right here. If they had more, that would have been great. We were able to get two of them. 11 bucks each, they're selling for 35 a piece. So all said and done, we're gonna profit on the both of them, $28.70. Sales rank is great, it's gonna sell as soon as it hits the shelf. It's great, there was three, but I'll show you in a second why I didn't get the third one. Now you gotta look at these, because sometimes the plastic's all off, like in this third one, and I would have to sell that as used, and it's just not worth it. I'd rather sell it as new. That's probably not profitable as used. Now, I haven't seen the Disneyland game before, so I'm gonna check that out, but it really wasn't worth much. But, if you like Disneyland, it's there. Yeah, so guys, this is pretty much it. You just scour through Walmart. You could be in here all day scanning stuff. I remember when I first started, I was literally there all day. But as you do it more and more, you'll get more efficient at it, and you'll know where things are, and when things are out of place. Like this, this right here. This, I thought this was gonna be money, because it's a collector's edition Fallout 4 game. It's got a metal case on it, it was really cool. But, you know, it was $30, so I figured maybe I can get 64, but it's still, checking the Walmart app, it's $29. Now I check my uh, Amazon app, where I scan it, and it's really not worth it. It's going for the same price, so that goes back. And now, uh, that's pretty much it. There's two more games I look at that I know really aren't worth much, so I just put them back, not even worth looking at it. Now, I walk over here, over here, these, uh, throw blankets. I got a bunch of them about three weeks ago. They were a dollar a piece, so I'm checking to see if they clearance down any more of them, but they really weren't. It's still around nine dollars. Usually in the summer, all the throw blankets get uh, marked down. So keep a lookout if you're uh, looking for some throw blankets. If you have a lot of them in your store, it's in the summertime. They uh, mark them down to get rid of them. Now, as I'm walking down here, I'm just looking from side to side, seeing if things are out of place. I know when things are in the wrong spot, when they're clearanced out, they put them on the top shelf or the bottom shelf. Yeah, just just looking, looking. It's, it's so exciting sometimes. Just looking around and uh, it's a thrill of the hunt. That's what it is, man. I checked these out because they didn't have a price on them. Everything that doesn't have a price, scan it. Because nine times out of ten, it's going to be clearance, but that was not. There actually was a price, I just missed it. Also, the end caps where I'm uh, at the end of the aisle, just check it out. Because a lot of times they put the clearance items there. 
I remember it a week. That's why I scanned that because I remembered a week ago they were clearancing out a bunch of uh, Mario figures. I bought a bunch of them for around $2 a piece. So I was saying maybe they were uh, clearancing out more Mario stuff, but nope. That was regular price. Now, over here, uh, I, I see this. I look up and I see a clearance tag, but the, the item's a little busted up, but I wanted to check it out because there was another one behind it. Now, I'm taking a little bit of a risk with this. It's only four bucks. It's the end of summer. It's a, you know, a, like a, like a water shooter for the, for the, um, pool. But I'm buying it for four, selling it for 26. So I profit around $14. I'm gonna, and it, there's no sales rank on it because it's, it hasn't really sold. But I don't care. I'm going to take a risk on that. And guys, it's that simple. You just got to get in there. Scan stuff. I know it's it seems scary at first, but you get over that really quickly. So guys, 2020 is your year. Get out there and make some money. <laughs>